Heavy traffic due to the, due to the construction at the Jane Byrne interchange is finally starting to lighten. The over budget and much delayed project is almost fully complete now. WGN's Brona Tumulty is live at the National Hellenic Museum near the interchange with more on this morning's ribbon cutting ceremony. Brona? Good afternoon, guys. Yeah, that project is more than nine years in the making, but the Jane Byrne interchange is more or less finally done. The ribbon cutting ceremony wrapped up a very short time ago here at the Hellenic Museum with the project, of course, starting all the way back in 2013 with the reconstruction of the Morgan Street Bridge when the whole thing was originally called the Circle Interchange. Now, the project was so huge, there were 35 separate contracts involved. It was initially slated to take four years, but that deadline came and went, as did the budget. We're told the final tally is somewhere in the region of $806 million dollars, almost 50% more than the expected 535 million. Now, according to IDOT, there were multiple unexpected problems, including poor soil in the area and issues with underground tunnels, forcing the plans to be changed mid-project. So how did the whole thing turn out? Well, it looks pretty good, and there's a lot of different improvements. Among them, a new two-lane flyover from the northbound Dan Ryan to westbound 290, the construction of 19 bridges, which include bike lanes, wider sidewalks, and improved access to transit, 50 retaining walls, and more than 32 miles of expressway were built. The CTA Blue Line station at Peoria Street was also overhauled and now includes ADA access to the platform. 12 miles of storm sewer was installed, which is about the distance from Wrigley to O'Hare. $10 million in landscaping was also used for things like tree installation and wall vines to make the interchange look as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Now, going forward, drivers coming through here will also notice 1994 going from three lanes to four past the interchange, while the round from the eastbound Ike to the southbound Dan Ryan and the eastbound Ike to the northbound Kennedy will be widened to two lanes. Now, among the speakers here today was Kathy Byrne, the daughter of former Mayor Jane Byrne, who all of this is, of course, named after, who highlighted the importance and the significance of how this interchange brings communities across the city together. This is my mom's necklace. And on the back, it has uh, the city seal, all engraved. It's beautiful. But on the front, it says, One Chicago. And what the Jane Byrne Interchange does is it brings all of Chicago together, from the south, from the west, from the north, and it makes us one Chicago. And in addition to all of the benefits that have been extolled today, this is something that will bring people together because it's where Chicago comes together. And I can't thank you enough for um, allowing this to be named after my mom. Thank you. Now, the whole project is slated to have delays for the 400,000 vehicles that use the interchange every day. There will also be a reduction in idling, which is expected to save about 1.6 million gallons of gas every single year. And the number of severe crashes is expected to drop by 25%. And while the ribbon cutting ceremony was today, we're told by IDOT that not all of the lanes are open just yet. They won't be open until Friday morning at the earliest. But you know what? If we wait nine years, what's a few more days? When I downtown, Bernard Tomlinson, WGN News.